That's right. Mahalo Nui, Rachel. We're over here at the Maui Ocean Center live today as we continue to talk about supporting Maui moving forward. And we're here at the Ocean Center because this is actually one of the most popular destinations when people come here to the Valley Isle. And we're rethinking the entire experience, whether you're Kama'aina or you're visiting Maui for the very first time. So let's get into that and the destination management action plan. Our very first guest joining us here today, we have Kawila Hanchet. She is the executive director for Holani Hana and Megan Degaya from the Maui Visitors and Convention Bureau. Mahalo Nui for being here. Mahalo. All right, so, oh, mahalo for being here. So let's let's go into it, um, Kuila. Let's tell everybody about the Malama Maui Hikina program and, and what's being done right now. Oh, mahalo Nui. So the heart of our program is really aloha aina and malama aina and really bringing forward this generational relationship that we've had with the aina, the families that have lived in Maui Hikina. And so we've placed local residents as stewards at key vahipana or hot spots where tourists frequent to orient them to place and to really address some of the issues that have impacted our quality of life in Maui Hikina. Uh, Kawila, how has this really brought in together members of the community? It's Aina focused and centered. So we that live on this Aina and have been here for generations, we have this deep relationship with Aina and we understand that Aina is Ali'i, Aina is Ohana. We have a kinship with place that informs how we malama or care for and steward our Aina so that it's here for generations and can continue to feed our families. And so when we did this project, we understood that we really needed to root in Aina and help orient our visitors to place. Absolutely, all very important. And Megan, I want to go over to you so you can talk a little bit about a little bit about how people like Kawila, different nonprofits are coming together to support the DMAP and everything taking place here. Absolutely, this was a huge collaboration between the East Maui community, the East Maui Advisory Group that was so graciously come, came together to guide this process from the beginning, and the Destination Management Action Plan put together by Hawaii Tourism Authority called us, as created by the residents, to explore carrying capacity at these sites of concern and also importantly, educate community and visitors about why it's important to limit numbers at these important vahipana. Definitely, and I wanna, as, as you mentioned residents, uh, what are you hearing from residents right now, Kuila, in terms of what's taking place there and all the work being done? So pretty much before the project, our residents were extremely frustrated with the conditions at these sites. That The road that goes through Hana is our only access to critical services and we, just, we were seeing a lot of issues here. And so after the project was implemented, it was like an 80% or 100% improvement in their experience of these areas. So That's major. Yeah, for real. Wow, unreal. <laughs> and so that's why it's a, it's a very important uh, topic to talk about and people need to co-co the programs, everything that's taking place. So what's the best resource to utilize for that? To learn more, people can visit holomua.hawaiitourismauthority.org. Perfect. Okay, Megan Kuila, mahalo nui. Thank you so much. And we're going to be live over here at the Maui Ocean Center the entire show today as we talk about resetting, rethinking the visitor experience when you come here to Maui. You're watching Hi Now? We'll be right back.